Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors. I have been interested in this stealth wake for a long time and I finally picked it up for the channel. Today we're gonna test it out and see if it's worth your hard earned money. Now the interesting thing about this boat is that it comes completely ready to run, but check out the size of that motor. While it is brushed, we still should get some pretty good speed out of this. And the nice thing about the ESC is that it's actually capable of running the Nikomoto Hydride battery that it comes with, or a 2S LiPo. Today we're gonna run a 2S LiPo so we can really get the best performance possible out of this boat. It's still a water cooled system where water will get sucked up through the bottom of the boat and shoots out the side and that is just very cool and to those of you that are new to RC boats there's no airflow over these electronics so you have to have some system keeping those electronics cool water cooling is the only way to go now this comes completely ready to run with even a boat stand to leave your boat on display I love that a wall charger which I opted out of because I ran a more hobby grade battery down to the AA batteries for the radio a nice nickel metal hydride performance battery and a good well-known ECX radio. This really will more than get the job done, but I wanted to run one of my muddy 2S crawler lipos and that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So let's run this awesome pro boat. Now this is very important to know. It comes with a nickel metal hydride battery, which they're fine, but they're a little dated compared to a nice LiPo. So what they do is give you the option with this little jumper. There are two jumpers. This one says battery, and then there's a little chart that says LiPo and nickel metal hydride. The right side tells you nickel metal hydride. So all you do, pull that little jumper out. There are three pins, and instead of being on the two right pins, we put it on the two left pins and now it's lipo ready okay as demonstrated there this boat does not have self-riding, so you've gotta be a little bit careful with it. Uh, we chose not to bring the kayaks out today. We'll see if we regret that choice or not. <laughs> but being, actually this is, is not full throttle. This is quite a bit faster. There's full throttle. That's actually quite a bit faster than I was expecting. Uh, being a 2S boat and the size that, that it is. So it's really, really impressive for this size of boat, ready to run with that name brand. This is not bad at all. It's very rare for us to find a boat this big at that price point, especially coming with everything needed to run. It'll turn on a dime too. Let's see this. There's, look at that. Nice. Yeah. Not bad, Abby. Look how sharp this thing will turn. Really aggressive on the turning. I'll save the bow nuts for you. But I, I'm liking this a lot already. And with a 5,000 milliamp battery, we should get a pretty decent runtime on this boat. Now the lake is very crowded today, which is why Abby and I are over here off in this grassy corner. All the docks and areas, um, our, our fishermen are over there. So we didn't want to drive our boat on top of them. Now I am positive if I would have approached any of them and said, hey, do you care if I drive my boat while you fish? I guarantee every single one of them would say, absolutely, that looks awesome. Most people are very, very cool about that. But we had the choice to come over here because it was empty, so we did. It's not our favorite place to record because I can't get really close to the camera. But with that zoom lens and 4K, we, uh, we're doing okay. This is our first boat week, you guys. It's in 4K. Now I'm gonna shut up for just a second. Oh, you know what? I think I hit something. It's causing some drag. Let me see. Definitely can't turn one way. Give me a second. I think I just picked something up. There, right is the right and left so, is yeah. back. Sometimes you can reverse stuff and it'll yep, help. Just kind of choose it up. And that's what happened. Um, not a big deal. This is good. This is nice. This is a nice day to be out here with a bright orange bow. It's shooting up a good sized rooster tail. And what an awesome boat week we've been having. But as you can tell, we've been kind of ramping things up as the week progresses. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you guys what we have planned for the last day of boat week. Today was calling for 80% chance of rain. And then uh, we got up and you know, it was raining, but then we looked at the weather and it went down to 15%. So here we are with a boat. Unexpected bonus day for us to be able to get out and record this. It's really nice. 
I'm going to shut up for a couple passes. I love the name Stealth Lake, and Abby, I'm seeing these lily pads. They're kind of hard to see with the <laughs> reflection, but you know, we've got to be careful not to get tangled up in them. We just don't have our recovery system. With How my luck lately with non self running boats, I almost don't even want to drive this one today since don't we don't to. have the kayak or a recovery boat. That's not a bad idea, so <laughs> I'm going to do bonuts in honor Thanks, of Thanks, I appreciate it. So here we go. There's some right I put on there. makeup for nothing. <laughs> well, we might get to come out later today and do another video. Here we go, left hand seems to be a little bit sharper. What does everyone say that's the, the term for this? Is Cavitate, cavi captivate. Ca not captivate. It's definitely something to do with cavitation. Yeah, see, I said it first, I said cavitate. That was cavitation. close. Oops. When when your prop is grabbing air and not water, like, like that, that's full throttle, and it takes a second for it to dig in, so to speak. Watch. That right there before it kind of goes because I'm holding full throttle that whole time. Well, it That's looks like it has good tendencies to knock on wood, not flip. Yeah, very good. I so, probably shouldn't have said that though. No, no, it's, it is very good tendencies to not flip. That's exactly right. A lot of times you get a boat that doesn't have self riding and it's so fast that if you don't come out on a perfectly calm day, you might run into some trouble of it flipping out on the lake. And then you either have to have a kayak or a couple other RC boats to help recover it. I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. How are you stuff. driving it? Like, are you full throttle and That's easing on the turns or here's what? Cranking on the, here's cranking on turns full. Okay, there's full left, full right. But let's get some speed going. There's full throttle. I've been about full throttle pretty much this whole time. And we're going to crank hard on the turns. Okay. Full throttle, got some speed up, cranking on the turn that way. All full right. throttle, speed up. Cranking on the turn this way. That does really good. It's wow. Not, it's not, uh, it's, it's got a very, very good level. It's going very on. stable. Yeah, it's a very stable boat. That's right. I love how this thing looks too. Well, Abby, we started off trying to do the self riding test at the very beginning just to see if it had it. It didn't say it did, so I assumed it didn't. I think that you could get lucky and it could rock over because it acted like it wanted to, but it doesn't say it does have self riding. However, we had the boat upside down. We've been out here running it for a good bit of time now, so I'm ready to bring this in and do the water test. What do you think? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come in a little bit fast so we don't get hung up in okay. this grass here. <laughs> oh, Ooh. There we go, oh, perfect. <laughs> now I love the boat hatch system on this. It's just a quarter turn or even a half turn, and then the hatch comes off. You can see here, look at the, see it's just a little levered hatch system. Um, you know, there's a good there bit. Was smoke coming out when you <laughs> was there really? <laughs> there really well, was. Well, it's because the water's hitting the warm motor and oh, it's causing it's like steam. steam. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was a little. No, 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 we're good. So there's a little bit of water in there. But Mine. we also had it upside down, and it probably yes, wouldn't have been upside down. Yes, that's right. Down. See down here in the corner. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. Probably a good uh, tablespoon, if not a little bit more. There we go. A little bit of water came out of there, but that's not too bad because it was upside down. It just has that foam seal. It's not intended to be upside down. And someone just pulled in and they saw us and they're backing <laughs> out. That's kind of funny. They could have come in and turned around, but I just felt bad. I'll turn this off. Uh, yeah, this is a great boat. And honestly, being the brand that it is, American based, part availability, which is awesome. The fact that it's ready to run, the size that it is, and they did such a good job on the design of this. I love how this looks. I love those fake rivets going around. All these decals just look sweet. It's a pretty good performance boat. If you wanted to get your feet wet with a larger boat that is name brand and you wanted to support more American-based companies, especially with customer service, this is the route to go. And you're gonna have a good time with this. You're not going to hurt anyone with how fast it is, although I wouldn't drive it in a small pool or anything like that. And uh, it's, it's fairly quiet. The Stealth Lake is kind of appropriate for the name. This is definitely a winner for that price point of under $200. We'll have a link in the description box below, guys. And know that when you use those links, whether you're buying this boat or any other parts there or another RC, you're helping to support our channel and our family, and it really means the world to us. It lets us know that there are still people that care about family-friendly content on YouTube. And so we're trying to do everything we can to maintain that and just have fun with the RC hobby with you guys. And for the fact that we get to do that and we've gotten to do that for so long, I wanna thank God. 
And I want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too, because yes, you can support our channel by clicking the link and then buying the RC that you want to, but the most direct way a person can support our channel is through Patreon. We'll have that link in the description box below too, but a massive thanks to all of our supporters. You guys really mean the world to us, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another great RC boat video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.